I'm passionate about the uh, energy transition because it really makes impact for society and I think for the future generations to come. If we want to decarbonize much yeah. further than just only that sector, hydrogen will play a significant role. Randolph Weterings, thank you for joining. You are a manager of electrification and hydrogen at the port of Rotterdam. Uh, can you explain a little bit more what you do in your role? Yeah, so with, uh, uh, with this program we focus on renewable power, because that's, that's of course the part where it begins. Um, so on offshore wind, but also on um, the renewable power in the port of Rotterdam itself. Uh, we focus on electrification in the port, so the companies that wants to use the electricity in order to decarbonize. And a very important element in that is, uh, is hydrogen. So we work together with all the customers in the port area itself, but also the companies that are connected to the port of Rotterdam, mm -hmm. and we help them to decarbonize. Uh, Randolph, how can the port of Rotterdam be a driver for creating a sustainable industrial ecosystem for this region? So what we do is we make sure that the, all the elements in order to decarbonize are there. So for example, for green hydrogen, you need a lot of clean electricity production. And we work together with, uh, with several companies and partners in order to get a lot of renewable power towards the port of Rotterdam. So towards 2030, we work on 7.4 gigawatt of offshore wind capacity that will land in the port of Rotterdam, which can then be used by companies to electrify, but also, for example, for the hydrogen production. Next to that, what we also do is we build the infrastructure, the open access infrastructure, where all the companies in the port can, can use, make use of. Yeah. from production, from users, from, from uh, importing terminals. And in that way, they can, can find each other and can, uh, can use each other's products. You talked about hydrogen. Um, how can the port of Rotterdam uh, be an uh, enabler for a future hydrogen market? So the market is not really mature yet. And how could the port of Rotterdam help uh, change that? Yeah, we focus on creating enough renewable power for this, uh, this hydrogen production. That's one of the things that we do. Uh, but also, for example, the open access infrastructure. So the pipelines that can be used by different companies. Mm -hmm. uh, so we work with several partners in this area in order to make sure that the infrastructure for large scale will be there. So that more, multiple companies can, uh, uh, can make use of this, uh, this green hydrogen. What, what are for you, you think, um, the key must win battles uh, to, to achieve everything the port of Rotterdam wants to achieve? Well, I think one of the most important ones is to get the, the price of the renewable power uh, cheap enough. And, uh, and in the end also uh, the green hydrogen on a level that the fossil-based products have uh, today as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that's of course not the, the battle that only the port of Rotterdam has to play and has to win, but it's, it's the full ecosystem that has to work together in order to get the price uh, to, to the levels that, that are needed. We have seen a lot of innovative projects in Rotterdam. Um, in your words, what makes Rotterdam such a unique example for Europe's energy transition? The, the unique thing of Rotterdam is that all the elements of the energy transition are, are very close by. So it's just 45 kilometers of industry and mm -hmm. port area, which is, of course, if you drive through it, it's quite, quite a lot and it takes a lot of time to come from point A to point B. But in terms of energy transition, it's very close by. So we, we have the possibility to make use of the renewable power that comes from offshore wind, for example. We have the terminals that connect Rotterdam and Europe to the other countries and continents all around the globe. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a large scale industry that can use the, for example, the green hydrogen already on a large scale. So we have the market over here. And when, by starting with industry, which can use the, the hydrogen, uh, the companies that are already used to, to use hydrogen, they're familiar with that, they know how to handle it. Uh, we can also switch from industry to other sectors, for example, to heavy transportation. And that makes Rotterdam, I think, a very unique place uh, in Europe, but also a very important place to, to decarbonize Europe as well. I think that's a nice way to close this interview. Thank you very much, Randolph. You're welcome.